It started with when your father contracted cancer, right? Mm -hmm. So after my dad passed away, we went to Camp Keslam. And, and that's a camp for cancer kids? Yeah. Kids that who's have Strictly family for members. that, yeah. Um, and I mean, they've given so much to my family and all my other friends' families that I just felt like I needed to give back because they've helped me throughout the years, like how I can cope and deal with my dad having cancer and when he died. Um, I know at the end, there's a day at the end of camp um, where we do like a candle ceremony or something and we all sit in a circle and we have a rain stick or there's a microphone in the middle and everyone just goes around telling their stories why they're at camp and I mean it's so nice to go to that camp and feel you're not alone you're yeah. affirmed with a lot of other kids who are dealing with the same issues and so then you decided in terms of trying to give something back you decided to give something back in terms of the needs of the camp right yeah so how did you go about doing that how did the Madison police help you reach that goal um, you guys gave me a lot of supplies and a lot of money so I can go out and buy some more supplies. I actually get to go out with some of my counselors and my Girl Scout troop leader mm -hmm. and go and get a lot more of the stuff and I'm excited for that. How did you team up with the Madison Police Department? Um, I told my story at a Girl Scout event. I, it was the bridging ceremony and Dan came up to me and my Girl Scout troop leader and asked to stay in contact so he could help out with it. That's Investigator Dan Roman. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've been a registered Girl Scout advisor for over 25 years. When I heard about Abby's, it was uh, particularly touching because I, I went through cancer myself. So I thought, um, well, what can I do to help her out? Never seen chalk that big. Put the word out here at the MPD and just started getting supplies collected <laughs> from employees and people dropped off money, people dropped off checks, people dropped off supplies. And it just was a really good feeling to be able to pass this all on to Abby. I think everybody was very inspired by what you've done and what you're continuing to do. So yeah. we're delighted to be a part of it. Thanks so much, Abby. Thank you. Absolutely. So there's like a, a selflessness there. Well, it's not just for her, it's for, for the other kids that are going to come down the pipe uh, when their parents or somebody in their family comes down with cancer and they need that support uh, from their peers in the, in the Camp Kessel program. So it's been fun. It's been, it's been fun all the way around. So what we can only do besides extend our gratitude to you for taking this sort of initiative to give back to the community is to provide you with what we call a chief's coin. And the Chief's Coin is only presented to those people who I have deemed have done things that are extraordinary, that have done things unselfishly for others in order to make others' lives better or this community better. And to the extent that you took it upon yourself to organize this sort of initiative to benefit other kids at this uh, camp for cancer kids and their surviving, I want to present this to you today as a keepsake and as a token of the Madison Police Department's appreciation for your good works. It doesn't begin to express how delighted we are that there are young people like out there, like you, at the forefront. Thank you so much. Thank you.